Hello everyone, it's Shipwreck Samantha and welcome to episode 2 of How to Use Procreate. Today I'm going to be talking about colors and color palettes. So I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about using colors. I am using the classic color picker. To get to your colors you're going to click to the top right corner of your canvas once you get into your canvas. This is the classic color picker. The newer one is a round circle. I just prefer the classic color picker and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. If you have a newer Procreate version, you're going to see the newer color picker, but this is just what I prefer. So down here you have the different hues option, Oops. and you can scroll through all the different colors you want, um, and then you can change the saturation and the value here, or you can click and drag around the square. If you like to do specific numbers, you can go and click right here in the top left corner and it will take you here and you can type in the number of the color you want. Um, this can be really useful if you're doing specific things for like logos, things like that. It's come in handy every once in a while for me before, but I typically don't use it. And then as for creating a can uh, palette, you can make different color palettes to keep track of all of the colors that you have so you don't have to have like splotches of color all over your canvas to use the eyedropper on later. So if you want you can go to your palettes by clicking right here on this arrow and then click the plus sign in the top right corner and you can create a new palette and I'm going to go back here and I have a brand new palette. The way to use this is say I want to keep this color right here. I just click and drag and then there we go you just tap right there and you have the color if you want to remove that color you just press down drag and let go and you throw it away and you can do this and for say characters this is a great thing to use because then you have a consistent color palette for the characters you draw or if you just have certain colors that are your favorite you can name them by clicking here oops sorry can name them by going to the, all of your palettes, clicking there, and then I'm just going to say test. And so you can name your palettes and organize them here. And as far as I know, you can have as many palettes as you want. Um, I'm not sure how many you can have, but I know I've had quite a few on here before. So that is how you use the color palettes. 